All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more long drive. Um, yeah, sorry about the late start. Don't know who I'm apologizing to. There's oh wait, nope. And six two one is online. Hello there. Hope you're going well. So yeah, sorry for the late start to the stream, but we will uh, get right to driving. I reckon. 1am insomnia gang. Nice. Currently, uh, I'm in the 4pm still somehow sleepy gang, so I've got the opposite problem. And a lot of people say you shouldn't drive while well, tired, but it's a video game. We'll be alright, surely. Uh, hopefully the levels are alright, and you can hear me. And yes, I do plan to... well... Hello, Moto. Hi, Shaz. Welcome to the stream. People say you shouldn't play horror games when tired, but here I was just then. I mean, <laughs> the other day I played Voices of the Void until like 10 p.m. So, and yeah, that was my longest stream in a while. Six whole hours. Shaz says, guess what I bought today? Ooh, what did you get? You're reading a psychological horror novel. Mmm, sounds like the perfect thing for sweet dreams. <laughs> a steering wheel, finally. <laughs> Lovely. That's nice, Shaz. <laughs> um, oh, I was gonna say. Yesterday, I um, accidentally sliced off a little bit of my finger. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is my uh, under construction mobile home. Made from pallets and bits of scrap. <laughs> don't go any, don't go under any bridges with that. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, I did um, slice off a little bit of my pinky finger with a weirdly sharp bathroom brush while cleaning the um, shower. So I've um, stuck that bit of flesh back on with a band-aid. And hopefully it will just heal back in place. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, top heavy nightmare. Oh, you can only imagine. I mean, in fact, you'll probably get a live demonstration later on in the stream when I go down a hill and end up on my roof. That's diesel. We don't need that. I don't need any of this. That is a good radiator, though it's not for our car, and we've already got a good one. So I reckon we just, uh, I reckon we just keep going. We've got a few dining table chairs already, so we'll leave that here. I also discovered um, a weird patch of skin on one of my other fingers, which I think is either an insect bite or maybe a wart, so whatever it is, I've put hydrogen peroxide on it, so it should be good. <laughs> Ant says, I was trying to read the novel, but ADHD kept saying no. I'm like that. The only time I actually want to read is when I'm about to fall asleep. 
but then I <laughs> then I don't remember anything I've read when I wake up. Anyways, um, Shaz, how are you going? Did I ask already? If I did, then disregard the question. <laughs> I reckon we will sleep through this night. My goal is to try and um, beat this game, well, this save, I've beat this game several times already. Is to try and beat it before, oh, before the update comes out. Because there is a chance the update will break the old saves. Thanks for the good luck. I mean, the fact that we don't know when the update's coming out makes this easier, so it could be months from now, and I'm quite close to the end. In fact, you know what? We have about... 450 kilometers left, maybe a bit more. Let's just step on it and go to the end of this stream. Let's just do that. Also, I need to find a pie cone air freshener. Um, let me change the title. I have speed run this game several times with friends, which is actually quite fun to do. Dodge the rabbit, dodge... Th oh, no. This thing spins out so easily. Yes, today's goal will be finding a Pioneer Freshener since I failed at doing that last time I streamed this game. Oh, believe me, the physics for this is um, very strange. It's un its actually quite unlikely to um, flip over. I think because the vehicles naturally balance a strange amount. All back says boo. I have still yet to have any alien encounters in Voices of the Void, which I am kind of upset about, considering I've, I've been playing for nearly um, 12 hours of that game. And look, there's a UFO right there in this game. And this isn't even a game about aliens. Right, um, oh, why is there so much wind noise? One thing I hate about this game is the wind audio, because it's uh, copyrighted. And we'll get your stream muted, so I have to talk over it. Ah. Alright, we have a few fuel tanks full of... Nothing much of interest. That one had a broken toilet in it. Yes. I think someone's trying to claim the wind audio in this game as their own and then um, copywriting everyone who uses it. So I have to talk over it so the content ID system can't recognize it. Right, I don't see any uh, Pioneer Freshness here, so I think we will just keep going. 
Yeah. In my opinion, if something is a sound that is made naturally in nature, like a uh, bird calls or wind audio, <laughs> I feel like that should be impossible to copyright. Just because it's too generic, and anyone can record something that sounds exactly the same. Luckily, the engine noise drowns it out quite a bit when we're in the car. And I can turn on the radio full of my um, DMCA free tunes. Which gets annoying quick because it keeps playing the same songs over again. <laughs> I swear, I loaded up like 50 songs and then it picks the same three. <laughs> this one's alright though. We haven't heard this in a while. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> We're on two wheels there. <laughs> Hi there, Root Man. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh no, we've hit a hill. This thing does not like hills, even 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 slight hills. It's not good at. Man, if you're just joining us, our goal for this stream is to find a pine air freshener. This isn't even the stock engine. This is better than the engine it came with. <laughs> this engine's from a Golf. You know, you don't want to know. Uh, sorry, you want to know what this had in there originally? It had a two-stroke, a literal whippersnipper engine. <laughs> you play the game, nice. A pioneer freshener, um, because that was something I was uh, told to get with the redeem. So you can um, redeem to get make me get items, and uh, one of them was a pine air freshener. So that's what we're getting. Yeah, 100 kilometers into your current save. Nice, not bad. We're kind of on the um, final stretch of the journey here. Less than 500 Ks, whoops. <laughs> this thing also doesn't like stopping, I wonder why that could be. <laughs> you keep getting jump scared. <laughs> thing is, I've probably had more scares in um, this game than any other game I've played. I mean, I do play this game the most, so... Rootman's on a three-stream watch streak. Wow. Penguin had a stream, had a redeem like that, and you asked to get a barrel of blood. Oh. I was asked to get a barrel of um alcohol, but we lost it when we ditched the car we were towing because this plus that plus towing another vehicle 
it really didn't want to do it, and we often could not get up hills at all. Oh, petrol. Oh, the bumper came off. <laughs> yes, Dan the wagon has gone. Travelled with us for over a thousand Ks though. Pretty impressive. Does this machine have a name? Yes. <laughs> oh. Victor is now called uh, Pasca. <laughs> Hi there, Initialo. I love this um, Minxworks music we have on the radio. It's from another game I play called um, Landlord Super. I really should revisit that. Try speedrunning that game. We're gonna call it Mitchell. That's a good name. Any reason why? Or just sounded nice? There's been a few updates. Yeah, I've got some of the achievements in one of the new updates. But it, the update broke my old save. So, I haven't played since then. It does sound nice. Yeah, it is a good name. Mitchell. Oh, that's one of the songs that isn't too good. I regret putting songs with lyrics on the radio because it kind of gets uh, confusing when I'm talking at the same time. Oh look, we're off the gauge. <laughs> Zero k's an hour, so quick. Oh, oh, here it goes. Oh no. Get back in there. That wasn't too bad. Come on, reattach. Nah. No way to do that, sadly. I wish, though. Oh, there is? Huh. Oh, stop. What do we have here? Nah. It's alright. 
Besides, the main problem is the game audio, and I'd have to remove all of it in that case, which I don't want to do. Pig. Pieg. P-Y-G. Right, what's in here? I think the bus kind of needs an overhaul. Maybe at some point in the future. Right, air freshener. Oh, wow. Oh, I've got an idea. Ho, ho, ho. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, diesel. <laughs> Nice. Why is there so much wind? I might have to actually <laughs> mute the cam audio myself for this area. You know, I think I will do that, just in case. Right, uh, we want pine air freshener. Wow, this is a larder. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Wimdy. Is there not a single... No, there isn't one here. I wonder if they're actually one of the rarer items. <laughs> I mean, that's the, the paradox of this game. It's only rare when you're looking for it. Oh. Not bad. Alright, what do we have here? Water. Not much, really. Still inside, though. And the roof, which we can uh, glitch on top of like that. Uh, another Commodore 64. Uh, I used to, but then I turned them off one day and forgot to turn them back on. Besides, the having to urinate and defecate gets a bit annoying. No, there aren't cats in the game. There is a dog, though. That's a weird mix. I wonder if this would run. Oh, I, I hope. I just realized you could ride a motorcycle <laughs> through this entire building. Right, I, I hear it. Where is that UFO? Come on. Oh, no, damn it. <sighs> I can't quite reach it. Ah, well. I bet we can ride a motorcycle. No, it wouldn't run. I'm pretty sure I've seen vehicles run with worse mixtures in this game.
You know what it needs? It needs more fuel. You're curious if the TV would get a signal when the UFO flies overhead. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. I kind of doubt it, but you know what? We'll, we'll bring a TV with us just in case. In fact, I think it just turns off because the UFO disables electrical items. I think the TV just switches off. Right. Is this better? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Only just. We need more fuel. That's diesel. <laughs> There's a TV buried in the ground here. It's funny you can switch that on. <laughs> The speed, right. Oh yeah, we do. We do have a TV in the living room. Living room's kind of full of construction materials at the moment, so I need to sort that out, but we do have a television in the living room. Right. Any more petrol? I feel like this thing needs something more substantial than a 50% fuel mix. I'll take that. Fifty-seven. We could be getting pretty close. Why am I doing this? Oil, alcohol. Blood, alcohol, diesel. There is not much fuel here for some reason. Oh, hi, penguins. Welcome to the stream. Penguins, do you remember what you uh, told us to get last time? Yeah, I checked. It's empty. Yes. Well, penguins, I am proud to announce that we have done it. I will show you in a minute. First, I want to ride this motorcycle through the building. I know the game audio isn't on, but let's, let's put the game audio on. No, nah, that wasn't a bendy bus. That was a different bus. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Gotta open that a bit more, maybe. <laughs> I believe we can do it. Yeah, yeah, look at this. <laughs> nice. I mean, that is with the one of the worst fuel mixtures imaginable. But penguins, I am proud to say, we have the bendy bus. Check it out. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> well, no. Not in my books. It's technically correct. 
Bending pussy. <laughs> Why? Alright, um... Onwards for the search for the Pioneer Freshener. I can't wait until multiplayer gets more stable and we can make, like, actual movies in this game. <laughs> That'll be so fun. We're actually very close to the end, so there is a chance that we might reach the end this stream if I can be bothered. <laughs> but I might save that for tomorrow, depending on how close we get. Not much to talk about, we're just uh, traveling between destinations. I kind of want to do a Q&A one of these days, but I think if anybody has questions, they just ask them, so there's not really much point. garage this could be a good opportunity right let's have a look around what's this 43 liters of fuel don't mind if I do And this is probably more than enough we need to get to the end at this point, so I think I'll just stop collecting fuel entirely. Hoard the petrol. And there's quite a bit. <laughs> 
filling up the auxiliary fuel tank. Let's turn this up. Oh, no, no. That is something I rigged up in there so we could carry extra fuel with us. It's basically just stuck in there with the um, fuel filler thing sticking out so I can fill it up easily. Oh, right, here's our collection of um, number plates. And you can just get a hose and put it between them if you want to fill it up. Oil. We might need some oil. Let me check the oil tank. Three point three liters. May as well top it off. Yep. Title dot WMA. <laughs> Traffic cones? We haven't actually had any of these yet. I mean, we've seen them, but I've never picked one up. So I wonder. Doesn't seem like you can clean them. There are a few decorations. We'll bring this with us. Why not? You recently set up a Windows XP virtual machine and heard this during setup? Nice. A lot of the times people didn't hear this because the um, sound drivers weren't installed yet. <laughs> However, if you had a generic sound card, then you probably would have heard this or used the... Um, uh, what's it called? It's the first party. Recovery installation media. Not going to wear it? Nah. It'd stick out through the roof. Oh wow, a beetle engine. Okay, so no no pioneer freshener here, sadly. I think the next long drive thing I do will be uh hoarding. <laughs> Where I have to take all the items I find. Which sounds like a bad idea. I wonder if a radiator can affect a beetle engine. I mean, I guess it could run cooler. I know the Beetle Engine can't overheat by itself because it's a two-stroke air-cooled. I mean, in real life it can, but in-game it can't. It's two-stroke and air-cooled. Is that what I said, or did I say two-stroke cooled? If I did, I'm dumb. I mean, I'm dumb either way, but... Yeah, I know it's air-cooled. Did I say it's air-cooled? Ah, oh, four-stroke, yeah. I got it confused with the, um, Trabant engine. This game has multiple small German air-cooled cars, you know? just that one of them was made by the Nazis and one of them was made by the Communists. Ooh, Cisco hold music. That's a good one. Yeah.
Uh, in the game, yes, but there were a bunch of um, non-communist two-strokes. Particularly um, small Japanese cars in around the um, 60s and 70s. A lot of those had um, automatic oiling systems for the two-stroke that would get clogged up and then the engine would explode. Works well if kept maintained, though. The one that comes to mind immediately for me is the Daihatsu Fellow Max. Which I think we did get in Australia. But of course, it's one of those things that you can't find nowadays, because... Yeah. You didn't get Daihatsu's in Canada, huh. You know what I find wild? How cars were pretty much seen as disposable items for a long time in many parts of the world. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure in the um, 60s in America, people replaced their cars on average once every two years. That's a brand new car every two years. That's ridiculous. And the auto companies are trying to get that down to one year. Yeah, usually that's only the um, weird countries only inhabited by rich tax cheats, though. And they see everything as disposable, so it doesn't really count. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how people will happily own a second-hand car for 15 years or more nowadays. That's a good thing. I mean, it also has to do with the fact that modern cars are less acceptable to stuff like rust. <laughs> Speaking of that era... Door from a 1958 Plymouth Fury. Plymouth, yeah. All right then, Plymouth. Plymouth. Penguin says, Got his Honda Jazz nearly five years ago as an next demo car, so basically new without the new price tag. No plans on getting rid of it. Nice. That's part of the reason why I think um, petrol cars will stay around for so long even when they stop making them. It's because people don't have the money nowadays to drop, like... I don't know how much a modern electric car costs, but I think it's like 40,000 Australian dollars for a low-end one. There was a bang on Quebec accent on Plymouth there. Plymouth. I'm going to say Plymouth because that's how I've always said it and that's how it's written. Is that how it's written? I don't know. P L Y M O. Yeah, that's how it's written. 
Right, this one's on 29 and this one's on 30, so I'm gonna switch that. Ooh. Hang on, we might have, uh, secrets here. <laughs> I mean, I hardly ever shoot anything in this game, so... I love the mechanic of digging things up. Oh, it's just diesel, though. Ah, well. Wonder, can I... I was gonna try and write my name. We can still give it a go. Oh, that one's empty. <laughs> That's not working. <laughs> Moves too much. Ah, well. Yes, I'm on peaceful mode because I don't agree with the zombies. Where are the aliens? Ah, oh, you just missed them. We had some a few minutes back. Well, we didn't actually see any aliens, just a UFO. And it's not in Voices of the Void in this game. <laughs> Thanks, Ants. I kind of want to play more Voices of the Void because it's really fun. But at the same time, nobody watches me play it, so there's no one to talk to. And I like that aspect of things more. So... Penguin says, even though we don't see Alien Bob in this channel much these days, he still lets us know he's around by flying over in the UFO. He sure does. Also, here's, here's something I'm curious about. How many of you are watching on a web browser versus on a mobile device? Ants and Leper on mobile. And Penguins is on web browser. Interesting, interesting. I suppose that kind of makes sense. I always watch Twitch, like, on the computer. I mean, partially because the app stopped working on my Blackberry a while ago. It's kind of funny. I have a Blackberry that's running Android 6. And uh, when I got it a year back, pretty much everything still worked. But over the course of a year, Gumtree stopped working 
eBay stopped working. Twitch stopped working. Yep, it's it's crumbling. There's more delay on browser. I mean, with browser you can install an ad blocker, which I do uh, recommend if you have the ability, because the modern internet, in large, is unusable without an ad blocker nowadays. Penguin says, when I worked in care, I would watch on tablet, but now it's only on PC. One thing I do love about my Blackberry though, I mean I suppose I could get this from any Android phone, is the ability to install extensions on Firefox on mobile. You just don't get that from Apple devices. Oh, and the physical keyboard. Trust me, once you try a physical keyboard on a smartphone, Another bendy bus. Alright, penguins, we can do that. We can definitely do that. You have no idea how easy it will be for us to do that. Oh, I'm feeling mischievous. Mischievous. However you choose to pronounce it. Ah, uh, nah, nah. You know how hard it would be to attach things to the back there? Nah, I'm not going to do that. I've got something else in mind. You bet I do. Oh. Wasn't paying attention. You jumped that rock pretty well. I do love this. I do not love how balked the cacti are in this game, though. Right, let's attach this on here. Oh, time for more jalopy music. There we are. Cacti weren't that bad before, but now they're a nightmare. I mean, my main gripe is that they don't disappear when you hit them. Let's have, let's check this out. Look, 
it's still standing there. What is that? It's like a, a ghost cactus. What do we have here? Larder? XFM? XFM? Hmm. I love how they added this, um, torch. That only exists to be worse than the other torch already in the game. I do like that. I know it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but I do legitimately like that. Vehicle is now named Flynn. this oil. No attachments here, sadly. Because of the visual novel you were reading earlier. Alright. We're nearly at 4,600. Oh! Whoops, I forgot to get Penguins' as Bendy Bus. Oh well, there'll be another one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <sighs> Shaz wants a tech talk. Ooh, okay. Um. Might be a bit difficult for me. But I'll see what I can do. All right. Find something good. Oh, I've got something good. Let's change this over. Here is... Hang on, let me move the mic. Here is a bootleg iPod. That I own only because it's a good SD card reader. You can see the slot on the side there. (laughs) 
And I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Dank Pods has shown off this exact thing on his YouTube channel once. This exact model. Then again, there were probably so many of those made. <laughs> hey, Dank Pods, love your vids. If only you could see my full iPod collection, I should do that. One day. One day I will show off my uh, <laughs> iPod collection on stream. <laughs> Sorry, that was a short one. Just have to do quite a bit of um, contorting. Because I have to use my other hand for showing stuff off on camera. Because of my injuries. Penguins has redeemed learn how to use the internet. Page 15. Oh. His phone chose page 15. All right, let's uh, give this a read. It's actually been ages since we've had that redeem. Remember when someone got me to read out the index pages? Jukex, hello? Right. Chapter 1. What is the net? Every continent? Some skeptical readers, after reading the claim that the internet spans every continent, may point out that Antarctica is a continent, even though its population consists largely of penguins, who, as far as we know, are not interested in computer networks. Does the internet go there? Yes, it does. A few machines at the Scott base on McMurdo Sound in Antarctica are on the net, connected by radio link to New Zealand. The base at the South Pole is supposed to have a link to the United States, but it doesn't publish in its but it doesn't publish its electronic address. There are almost no significant internet free landmasses left on the planet. Many parts of the world though have poor telecommunications generally, with only a small proportion of Africans and Chinese connected to the telephone. The internet is a long way from a universal network. Man, that's that dates this. <laughs> Of course penguins love the internet. <laughs> Here are some ways. Here are some of the ways the internet is being used. Finding people. If you've, lo if you've lost track of your childhood sweetheart, now's your chance to find him or her anywhere in the country. We'll tell you more about this subject in Chapter 8. So online dating, even back then? <laughs> Finding businesses, products, and services. New yellow page directory services enable you to search by the type of company you're looking for. People are shopping for that hard-to-find special gift item. A friend told us of her search for a bear pendant that led her to a company in Alaska that had just what she was looking for. Research. Law firms are realizing that a great deal of information they formerly paid hundreds of dollars to find from commercial services can be found for almost nothing when they go directly to the net. Real estate appraisers use demographic data available on the net, including unemployment statistics, to help assess property values. Genetics researchers and other scientists download up-to-date research results from around the world. Businesses and potential business research their competition over the net. Wow. Education. School teachers coordinate projects with classrooms all over the globe, 
university students and their exchange families email to facilitate letter writing and keep down the cost of phone calls. Students do research from their home computers. The latest encyclopedias are online. Travel. Cities, towns, states, and countries are using the web to put up tourist info and event information. Travelers find weather information, maps, transportation schedules, transportation schedules, and tickets and museum hours online. Well, that's still relevant. Huh. Ah. <sighs> That was an interesting page, actually. Showed how the internet was being used back then, which is, uh... Well, not much has changed. Apart from the fact that it is far more widespread than it was. Oh, good thing that rock was there to stop us. I should probably save the game, actually. I should have done that. While rambling on about the internet. For once, the book, for once, the rock saves the day instead of ruining it. <laughs> yep. Oh, that sound alert. Nice, penguins. Nice. Duke says, I missed out on the early days of the internet. It wasn't essential, therefore not in the budget. Mum got it not long before they switched from dial-up. I was already out of home. Well, the thing is, the older the internet gets, the larger the time frame of early days gets. Like, I'd still consider most of the early 2000s to be, um, uh, early internet. Ants never had dial-up because they're not a boomer. Neither, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I never had it stand alone. But I set it up myself for the experience, you know. I don't have it anymore though, because Australia mostly phased out landline phones recently. Shaz got it when DSL was already a thing.
it was like a one hour a month limit or you could be charged extra you go through an hour in just one hour i mean back in the day people would uh go online download a website and then hang up while they read the website like they'd download the entire web page In fact, um, most modern browsers still have the option to download the entire website you're viewing. And yeah, people would just um, download their email, then hang up and then read it. And then uh, call back to send off respo um, responses. <laughs> not much here. Well, not much we want. Don't know what that was. Ah, oh, look at that! This is on the right track, at least. We need a pine-scented one, though. I guess with satellite internet, most rural areas have some kind of, um, better connection now. Although that can be prohibitively expensive at times. The Amish still has no internet? You sure about that? You sure about that? Are you sure about that? Is this website literally just this image and an advertisement for motels.com? And it somehow wants cookies? <laughs> What's their privacy policy? Updated 2019. Reflex Publishing Incorporated? Huh. Here comes the fact check. Penguin says, I did pay a subscription, rather expensive too, for unlimited internet to a free phone number. Oh, you didn't even see what I did there. Whoops. Hang on, wrong, wrong screen. There we go. Check this out. But it's literally just this image. An advertisement for motels.com. A we use cookies. And a privacy policy. That's all there is here. What's the inspect element look like? <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing here. Wow. You know what we gotta do, right? We gotta way back machine this. When was Amish.com registered? In 1999. Oh, they were ahead of the curve. What did it look like back then? This domain does not have a website. This domain name is not for sale. For further assistance, further search assistance, click here. Huh.
locate.com It's a search engine for search engines. Oh my god. <laughs> there was a search engine called Hotbot. I don't think I need to explain the innuendo to you there. Wow, you can search so much stuff with Lycos. Ah, Alta Vista. Chaz says there was a wood shop and they had some sort of generator that had rods and gears under the floors to run the power tools. Yeah, I got here from Amish.com. What does locate.com look like nowadays? I'm curious. Locate.com just looks like Amish.com. That's... Hang on, that's odd. That's very strange. Are we uncovering an Amish internet conspiracy here? It's all a conspiracy. More info. What, what is the cookies info? Oh, it just opens the privacy policy. Reflex. What does reflex.com look like? What does Hotbot look like now? I'm not opening that website on Twitch. Okay, Reflex Publishing is still a thing. And it's updated for 2024. I might do that automatically, though. Locate.com, eh? Well, you know, I'm going to do it. Oh my god, it still exists. Oh, it still exists. You can add it to Firefox. Wow, I'm bookmarking this. It's still around. Who... <laughs> I wonder when the last time this page got an actual human visitor was. I could be the first person here in months. What should we ask it? Ask Jeeves? That's just ask.com now, and that's still around. In fact, I went on ask.com the other day, but it's stuff full of ads. Alta Vista just redirects to Yahoo. A reel-to-reel -reel mainframe in someone's basement is roaring to life right now. Yeah, there's just some, like, dusty server rack in an abandoned building that suddenly started <laughs> spinning up and clicking. This feels odd. What should we ask it? What should we ask it, guys? Mainframe for... S <laughs> no, no. Uh. Oh, it gives recommended. Hmm. If it's good, I might start using this. I've been looking for an alternative to Google. Is the back end still there? Yep. Oh, it's st it still works. It gives results. No images tab. It probably just gets its results from Bing or something. There's no images tab or anything. This is vintage. Wow. This does have, like, the Google layout up here, though. How did this go from a long drive stream to this? Through Amish.com. How 
How about Excite? <laughs> Is Excite still there? Whoops. Oh, it's got a warning saying, we will no longer offer email operations on 2021. This is internet archaeology. And it's just got something like pulling from it a news feed here. This is strange. I could do a whole just chatting stream about this. The virus got them. <laughs> well, there's a link for honey, even. Casper, whatever that is. I wonder... Oh, this one has a search thing, too. What should we search on excite.com? Info seek. Exciting. Good idea. I really need to get back to the game. <laughs> oh, it opens in a new tab. Wow. Wow, this one even has an images tab. Amazing. <laughs> this is better than Hotbot. Ah, Ly Lycos. Lycos.com. Let's try that. <laughs> I love this. Windows 98. Not a lame duck after all. What is Lycos.com? Lycos... <laughs> Like a swag. Oh. It's a dog. We'll search holy wow on Lycos. Get your Lycos drip here. Oh, I gotta check that out. It's given me trombone champ. Oh, Holy Wow is the name of the company that made that game. Oh, makes sense, makes sense. It's actually... Actually competent. Oh, check out Penguin's website. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. Let's check out Lycos Swag. <laughs> From 2020. <laughs> oh, this is kind of sad. This is honestly just kind of sad. Has anyone ever bought anything from the Lycos online store? <laughs> Penguins has a cool website. World of Warships. Bus Simulator. Euro Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator. Empyreon. Farming Simulator. And Sims 4. You have good taste, Penguins. They have made zero money on Lycos Drip. I think... Lycos is probably costing somebody $8 a month or something like that in domain fees, and that's it. And it's just running off their home computer. Huh. 
Uh, right, let's get back to the long drive. What was he even doing? Yeah, pioneer freshener, pioneer freshener. That was fun. I wonder if the goal is to make people feel sorry for them so they'll they'll buy Lycos merch. That'd be a <laughs> smart move. So there's two air fresheners, but neither are the one we're looking for. We can attach them to each other. Oh, nah, that doesn't work. You did all the code yourself? Nice, penguins. I admire that. I really should set up my own website. I have a copy of Microsoft Front Page 97 that I could use. And I feel like it would just be so funny. All right, those have got to go. Right, off. Ants tried setting up a Windows 98 VM, but couldn't. I have a laptop that runs Windows 98. I tried uninstalling the Norton antivirus it came prepackaged with, and the entire system bricked and would only boot into safe mode and then wouldn't boot at all. I had to reinstall it. I had to download the recovery CD, burn that on a Mac, and then wait, like, I think it took two hours to reinstall. And you know the funniest part? I tried uninstalling Norton again, and it bricked again. Norton was integral to that system. And it's still on there. Of course, I, ended, I tried using just a generic CD, but then it had none of the um, video or sound drivers, so you had to use the uh, OEM <laughs> recovery CD. <sighs> Not on Scorched Earth policy. Yeah. The computer can't get a virus if it doesn't boot. That was funny. It was a uh, Compact Presario 1155, I think, maybe 1055. I still have it. But it's not a great laptop. I haven't actually bought a brand new computer <laughs> with an OEM Windows installation, <laughs> like, ever. You have an HP Pavilion with a Pentium 3, use an SD to ID, no, ID to SD card adapter, it runs fast. I had an IDE to um, compact flash adapter for my Toshiba libretto, but then my libretto developed even more problems, so I sold it. <laughs> Dr. Smack. 
Welcome to the stream, by the way. Sorry I didn't um, respond, reply to you earlier. After I finish Long Drive, I should try Sierra Driver's Education 98. <laughs> Will do. Penguin says, Drat just checked the weather forecast and it's raining again today. Strange how it did not rain for much of the week, even though it was forecast to. Huh. Ants has one PC and it's a hinge problem, a uh, Hewlett Packard. That was a trend though, I think all Toshiba and HP laptops have hinge issues. Actually, all Apple laptops as well. Yeah, I have um, a Toshiba satellite that I, I just left on the balcony because it um, was running Windows XP. And uh, it had some very nasty viruses on it. I think I've told this story before. That disabled the use of any external drives and disabled the use of safe mode command prompt and the task manager Chaz says I bought a $1,000 HP laptop back in early 2007 and the hinge just broke and I couldn't close it Yep. So you know what I did with that laptop? Well, firstly, I tried to reinstall XP, but then I realized the CD drive was dead, and this shitty laptop wouldn't boot from anything but the CD drive. It did not support USB booting. <laughs> so, I pulled the hard drive, pulled the RAM, Wiped the hard drive in a Mac and left the rest of it on the balcony where it sits today, growing moss in the keyboard. Also, the hinges were busted on that too. Otherwise, I would have sold it. <laughs> Driver's Ed 98, the practice section lets you free room around the city with traffic. Kind of impressive for 98. Mm. That is interesting. Shaz had, says it had one gig of RAM. That thing was fast. It's funny how, um... Oh. 16 gigs of RAM is pretty much considered bare minimum nowadays. And says eight. I mean, that's fine for web browsing, but pretty much all games want 16 gigs or more and dedicated graphics and an SSD and a decent CPU. I was gaming on, I was gaming and streaming on um, 16 gigs of DDR2 memory for quite a while. My entire first year and a half of streaming was on 16 gigs of DDR2. Dottis Max says, when I bought my Windows 95 PC in 1996, it had 16 megs of RAM. Ooh, fancy. For some reason I just like opening the windows when they're off the car. I don't know. You can run BeamNG on 8 gigs of RAM, a 10th gen Core i5, and no GPU. That's pretty cool. Funny, this game would kind of chug on that, I reckon. Uh, 
I once tried running this game on my um, awful Windows 7 netbook. I think that had like uh, 2 gigs of RAM. And it ran terribly, but then I realized you could set the resolution to whatever you want. So I set it to like 100 by 100. And you got like 60 frames per second like that. <laughs> Penguin says, uh, the first ever PC was a DX266 with 4 megs of RAM, 500 megabyte hard drive, and a super fast quad speed CD ROM. I still have my first computer. It was a hand me down Sony VAIO laptop, which was then handed down from me to a friend of mine who gave it back five years later with the CD um, drive cover missing, but still working. Oh. Vios was some of the worst laptops in terms of bloatware installed from the factory. Alright, I'll do that for you. F4, okay. There you are, there's the passenger POV. <laughs> I'll try and get it a bit straighter for you. Actually, no, that's alright. <laughs> Ghost ride the whip. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I cannot pronounce that name for the life of me. Alright, see you later, penguins. Have a good day at work. Hopefully you don't get too rained on. Face it towards my seat. Okay. Not more cacti. Alright, let's throw some of these out. Cactusy, I hate you. I hate that word you've created so much. I turned my player model off to reduce lag. Oh no, lag. <laughs> lag spike. Turn the radio on. Yeah, I have a second monitor for chat. Go to settings. There's a lot of backseating happening here. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with it, but okay, okay. Till we finish sleeping, though. I mean, there's no back seat to back seat with. Okay, settings. What do you want? Uh, I'm curious to see where this goes. Graphics. Misc. Okay.
Stereoscopic 3D. Interesting. Drop cam display. You want to set that to two? You screwed everything up! Now I can't see chat. Um, and it's full screen for some reason. Uh, let me make a save real quick. I'll relaunch the game. Saving might take a while. Sorry. I want to try avoiding loading. If possible, it takes forever. Now the game's on the wrong monitor. Um. Oh, everything is so broken. Oh, both my monitors are black now. You crashed the game! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Side Popper and you. Oh, Streamlabs is messing up too. <laughs> Ban this man. <laughs> Good thing I made that safe. Right, um, can I relaunch it without making things worse? Without things just staying broken. Okay, so it launches in a... Okay, okay, I think it was... I think, it, I think it's fixed. I think we're good. I think we are good. Oh. That did not work well. Oh, and now loading the save is going to take forever. <laughs> because we're so close to the end. <sighs> nice. Nice. Well, how's everyone's day been? Being mess, sleep deprived. Oh no. Sorry, I might have to dash off now. Hi, Gamer Shadow. Sorry, I think I gotta wrap things up. I just checked my messages and somebody needs my help with making dinner. So. The smack is good. Got a quest three, but now they have red eyes and marks on their face. Yeah, that's how it goes with VR. Um, I will see you all tomorrow around the same time, probably for more of this.